A century of bringing music and culture to Maine. That's what the Portland Symphony Orchestra is celebrating this month. And it has some big things planned for its, get this, 100th anniversary season this month. So exciting. Here to tell us more is the Portland Symphony Orchestra's music director, Eckert Proy. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So first, let's talk about what's planned for this big birthday for the orchestra. Well, so first of all, we have a great season. So we have Carmina Burana, we have an opera, La Boheme, one of my favorite operas. We have collaborations with Portland Ballet, Portland Stage, uh, Romeo and Juliet by Prokofiev, Tchaikovsky Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, we have Yo-Yo Ma coming in, the probably world, most world-renowned uh, uh, cellist or musician, classical musician. Uh, and we have a phenomenal opening weekend this weekend too. Yeah, and, and uh, the, the thing, when people go watch you guys, uh, there, it, it's one of the best symphonies in the country. I've been all over the country, and these are some of the best musicians you will find. Talk about the, these are not like uh, high school and college musicians coming out. These are paid musicians that from all, all over the place, not just Portland, that come here and play and are so talented. Right. I mean, so, so we're th lucky. These are all yeah. absolutely excellent musicians who are on top of their profession, who play in Boston, all over the place. They play, they play in Rhode Island. Actually, you know. The Eastern Seaboard pays it basically, and uh, and so they, they come in and they and they just deliver and they play with heart, they play with passion, and they have incredible technical ability too. And they are really good communicators. So when you sit in the audience, you can really feel the energy coming from from the from the stage. Can you talk about the cultural impact of the orchestra in Portland and the state of Maine? How important is PSO for the area? Well, so we've been around for a hundred <laughs> hundred years and it took a thousand you know thousands of, of musicians, several music directors to really make this orchestra into this um organization of excellence that, that, that it is. And we reach deep into the main community, especially with programs like a Magic of Christmas, but also classical musicians. We have a new chamber music series where we go into different, different uh, com communities. And so, and, and, and we draw probably from a two, three hour radius. Um, and so, so I like to think that we are, you know, the premier um, arts organization in town. And but we want to be a catalyst for other arts organizations as well. That's why we collaborate with the ballet and Portland Stage and Opera Maine as well. You know, what's great about the PSO too is you guys uh, get uh, uh, all ages, uh, all people, whether you like rock and roll or whether you like ballet. Or, or pops music. I mean, you're right. playing a Star Wars concert. You get the people to go to these concerts, and then they come and they start to appreciate, you know, Mozart, Gershwin, uh, and, and Beethoven. You know, I think yeah. that's the nice thing yeah. about it too. I mean, so so the range of music that we cover is quite amazing. It goes from from classical, of course, baroque, uh, modern music uh, to to jazz, and and as you mentioned, uh, Star Wars. So we have a, a New Hope a screening with the big screen and the live orchestra playing on July 4th, of course, <laughs> uh, next year. And so 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 I think. I think that also in terms of age range, you know, so, so we, have, we have children's concerts, we have discovery concerts, we have family concerts. So basically from, you know, two to, you know, 100 or above, um, we really hope to have something for everybody. Yeah, such a unique experience. And what can you tell us about the reputation outside of Maine? Are we getting recognition from other parts of the country and maybe the world? Yes, I certainly hope so. So, so we so we just did actually our first commercial recording uh, last season with music by Mexican composers, and that will definitely put us also on the national and inter international map. Uh, but we are really here uh, for for our audience, and that's why we have also a great opening weekend with uh, with a block party this Friday with a Beethoven nine sing along. So if you ever <laughs> wanted to sing the Ode to Joy with an orchestra, uh, big orchestra, and the solo quartet, and you always wanted to sing along, you can do that on Monday. The only sing along I've heard with the PSO is think during the magic of Christmas when you guys sing the Christmas songs. Uh, and everything like that. So this, I mean, is this a first? I mean, this is kind of cool. This, I think it is the first for us. So we Uh, on Monday evening at six for just the the course, so you're going to sit with Core Art, um, our our course for Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, and then the the whole orchestra and the soloists are going to come in, and we're going to we're going to run the finale, the the Auto Joy, and everything else that's 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 going on there. It's going to be a blast. It sounds like a, a I think you're going to be there. Oh, right? Yeah. You're kidding me? <laughs> oh, me being the trombone player, of course, you know. Uh, hey, also uh, we we can't talk about the PSO uh, without talking about the Magic of Christmas. And this again, it's not the 100th anniversary of Magic Christmas. Is this always a special time of the year for people that wouldn't ordinarily go to the symphony to go watch and a great PR came from, uh, campaign for you guys. Right. So I think this year it marks the 44th year of Magic of Christmas and, and, and each year we reach 
thousands and thousands of people and for, of all age, age ranges. And we play classical music, we play, play film music, of course Christmas music, we always have special guests. Uh, this year we have uh, Cirque de la Sound Symphony, so they, they, they're going to do the combined classical music with, you know, uh, with um, athletic, you know, either on a, on a trapeze or they, they bounce from the, mm -hmm. from, from the ceiling and stuff like that. And so uh, we always try to make it something really, really special, magical. And um, what I like about that is that we bring families together. So it's not just the adults coming and not just, you know, the adults come for the, for the, for the family concerts, but it's the whole family coming and experience something that really bonds them together and the whole community celebrates Christmas together. And you even have a shorter concert, I think, for some of the kids to be able to go, right? Right. So yeah. there, there, there's, I think, I think one concert that is a a little shorter for really, really little, 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 little kids, and um, um, but it's, it's going to be fun. Very magical, yeah. and yeah. there's a lot planned this year. So this is a tough question, but what are you most excited for? What I'm most excited for, so I always like when we go out into the community. So for instance, this Friday we have a block party. It starts at, at, uh, at, at 5, the mayor, the mayor is going to be there, and we have food trucks, we have a lot of activities, we have an instrument petting zoo, we have a, what we call Podium Hero, where everybody can try to conduct, we have, we have a craft station, um, a Portland Ballet, the PSO musicians, uh, and also the opera, we're all, all going to perform. And so it's really kind of bringing classical music into the street. It's going to be outside in front of City Hall. Um, that is something that I really like when, when you really reach out and everybody, it's free. So everybody can come and just, and just, and just uh, experience the different arts organizations uh, and in a, in, a, in a fun way. And we also have an indoor beer garden just in case. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't hurt either, right? Just don't let the musicians drink before they play, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see Katie with the baton. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, there sure. Conducting well, I them. love the idea of getting kids exposed to music and the instruments themselves as well. Right, because sometimes you just have to try out and see eh, how difficult it actually <laughs> yeah. is to make any decent sound on any instrument. I mean, you know that as, oh, a, yes. as, a, as a trombonist. Um, but, but also also conducting the, the reaction, because we have, uh, when you learn how to conduct with us, we have musicians play. And so you see the reaction, you know, what do you need to do in order to elicit any reaction yeah. from the musician. So it's just a great experience of kind of kind of just it's like you know, sitting behind the wheel yep. uh, you don't understand what driving feels like unless you actually sit in the car and you and you drive and that's what we're trying to do really that's nice cool. to have petting zoos during some of the kids concerts yeah. where they actually get a look hold a french horn yeah. or a trombone and everything so right. what's a website folks can find out more information about some of the upcoming concerts and the 100th anniversary season portlandsymphony.org oh that easy was perfect yeah. easy peasy well best of luck and congratulations happy birthday thank you <laughs> <laughs>